Hi folks, I'm Hub Arkish for ChicagoSunTimes.com and every Monday, Tuesday we put together a review of the Bears game this past Sunday, but I'm not sure how much you want to hear about this one. It doesn't look any prettier 24 or 48 hours. The Bears got worked. They got destroyed. When you get out gained 298 to 119 in the first half, they had the ball seven minutes less than New England Patriots and most importantly, 38-7 score at halftime, it is over, and people want to look for answers. What went wrong? Do you blame the head coach, Mark Tressman? Lord knows it's become uh, a passion in Chicago to blame the quarterback, blame Jay Cutler. This one's really not on Jay Cutler, and while Brandon Marshall did not play well, he was up against the best cornerback in football, and Darrell Rivas, and we can't hang this one on him either. No, this was a complete team loss. There are a couple players that you should take a look at and compliment them, congratulate them for playing well and playing hard and not giving up. That of course would be running back Matt Forte who continues to be a Pro Bowl player. Over 100 yards rushing, almost 200 yards in total offense. And Martellus Bennett had himself a really nice football game. Now one of the reasons for that is the Patriots had their number two corner, Brandon Browner, on Bennett early because Browner is so big, 6'4", 230 pounds, huge for a cornerback. But once they realized that Alshon Jeffrey was a little more dangerous than Bennett was going to be, they decided to shift Browner over to Alshon Jeffrey. He took him away, pretty much the same way that Darrell Rivas took away Brandon Marshall the entire game. That doesn't mean Martellus Bennett wasn't covered. He just didn't have to deal with those top two corners, and he had himself a really nice football game, was playing hard, miraculous touchdown catch. That one will make the highlight reels in spite of how bad the football game was. So the real issue for this Bears team now, as they look at their bye week at the exact halfway point of the season, a 3-5 and five record, is can they salvage this season in the second half? First, there will be a lot of self-scouting of the coaching staff. Is Mark Tressman doing a good enough job as a head coach and what does he do about defensive coordinator Mel Tucker? You're not going to make a change at defensive coordinator at midseason. At least it would be pretty unheard of if the Bears did. Where do you find somebody who's going to step in and do better? But does Tressman need to get more involved in the defense? Is he capable of getting more involved in the defense, particularly when the offense needs work as well? That's the point here. As you look at the New England Patriots loss, up until this game, there have been individual things to point at. Just a week earlier people were questioning the locker room. This loss had nothing to do with what went on in the Bears locker room after the Dolphins lost a week earlier. It had nothing to do with any issues of leadership or Marshall or Cutler. This was about a complete team failure and the Bears now have one week to try and fix it. The good news for them is the Green Bay Packers played their worst game of the week this past Sunday as well, getting beat on Sunday night in New Orleans. The Bears will go to Lambeau the week after the bye. Can they be ready? They probably will be healthier than they've been at any point this season. The question is, does Mark Tressman still have this football team's ear? Are they still listening? Do they still want to compete? The season can be saved. Ten wins is not unrealistic when you look at the schedule the rest of the way, but they would have to play significantly better football than they have so far. The Patriots lost, not the final nail in the coffin. Maybe it's the wake-up call for this team to do what they need to do during their bye week to come back and at least be more competitive when they go to Lambeau Field and take on the Green Bay Packers in their next game. That's it for me now at ChicagoSunTimes.com. But for the best sports, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this is where you want to be.